In this video, I challenge myself to make a Roblox game in 24 hours. Let's begin. So, if you haven't been living under a rock, one of the most popular game genres on Roblox are obbies. So what better thing to do than make one myself? If you didn't know, recently I've been learning scripting for an upcoming video, and I'm currently on day 5 of that challenge. So if you do think my scripts are trash, don't hate. Instead, leave a comment telling me what I could have done better. Anyways, so my plan is to make an obby. That's literally it. I plan to include numerous stages such as disappearing parts, slippery eyes, disco floors and more. But for now, let's focus on the first stage. So I have this green button with a click detector inside and I want to make it so that whenever you click it, these parts slowly come up. I did this by using tween service and using the events of the click detector, I made it so that whenever it's clicked, the tween service activates. So here's the finished product of the first stage. For the second and third stage, I'm going to make kill bricks. The second one's just going to be regular kill bricks, and the third one is going to be spinning. Making a kill brick is easy. All you need is the touched event, and if the humanoid touches it, make the health zero. For the spinning one, I just added 0.1 to the y axis of the part every time it loops through the loop. The next stage is going to be a moving laser platform. I did this by using a simple tween, and I added lots of obstacles so the player will die. Alright, so there's 21 hours left for the challenge, let's see what we've got so far. We click the button and these platforms come up. They also go back down. This is just simple parkour. Ah! And make sure you don't hit the parts. Now, I'm going to try and add the slippery ice level, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, that's how. Let's put that part right there. Now let's change this friction stuff. And just like that, we've got slippery ice. So, I've added these tiles and my plan is to make a disco type of floor. I'm going to make so that whenever the tile is green, you can jump on it, but whenever it's red, you die. As you can see, we have two scripts. A script that kills you, and a script that changes the colour of the part. I started by making a while loop that changes the colour of the part every second. Then, I connected a function to whenever the part is touched. I made sure it was a player that touched it, and I made it so that the if statement only works when the brick colour of the part is really red. So here's the finished product. Also, don't you guys worry about the map, we'll make that in the future, but for now, we're going to focus on the hard bits. For the next stage, I'm going to make a puzzle. Well, not really a puzzle. You guys will see what I mean in a second. So here's my course. What the player needs to do is he needs to push the box all the way to the end so he can jump up and complete the stage. When the player has touched the end of the stage, the part will be teleported back to its original position. Back to coding we go. This one's also pretty simple. If the part get touched, then you need to connect it to a function. If the humanoid was the thing that hit it, then just move the part back. It's that simple. I know this is a bit off topic, but I want you guys to see a build that a fan made for me. It's basically a custom mansion made out of three shipping containers. He even put my helmet on a shelf. Beautiful, isn't it? If you're wondering why he did this, it's because we do events in my Discord server. And he also won 100 Robux, so if you guys want to participate in an event, join my Discord. After a long day of coding, I decided that it was finally time that I headed to bed. <laughs> I woke up, but my motivation for coding was gone. But that's okay, because we could just build instead. So, I got to work. But wait, what on earth am I gonna build? This is what you're gonna build. I started by making acid water, since the theme is toxic. And then I began placing borders around the map. Oh my days, this is taking forever. I finished off the border and added these simple mountains in the background. They add a lot of depth and variety to the map. I also added this platform for where the lab stuff can go. Talking about lab stuff, I added a bunch of potions that my friend Jamscoot made a while back. I also quickly modelled these dinosaur bones and put them in the acid. That's the lab section done. Before we move on to the next section, we have to fix up the obby because it looks kinda janky. I quickly modelled these square things in Blender, then I replaced the spawn part. I went through the obby and cleaned it up using our squares. Now it's looking juicy. For the next section, which is neon, I continued the borders and mountains and added a platform for more stuff. I didn't really have a plan for the neon one, so I just made a simple billboard and placed on the platform along with some text. Only the people in my Discord understand this one. The next section is cold themed. I hopped into Blender and made cold stuff such as icicles, ice cubes and more ice. I then expanded the border and made some of the parts snowy. I scattered the cold stuff around and put some random people from my Discord inside of the ice cubes. That's pretty much this section done. For the last section which is construction, I once again expanded the border and made a small asset pack containing planks, crates and cranes. Don't judge the design of the cranes, we're low on time, okay? 
Here is a concept of what the zone will kind of look like. I then got to scattering the assets and here's our final result. With two hours left, I finished the border and put a big platform for the winners. Overall, for my first game, I think it turned out pretty well. But what is a game without thumbnails? I opened Photopea and added an image of a dying bacon. I used the map as the background, added an explosion and made it pixelated. I added lots of camera raw filters and layer styles and this is the final result. For the thumbnail, I did the same thing but wider. I added text to fill up the open space and this is how it turned out. I then asked Bing AI for the name of the game and it came up with nothing. So I came up with Planet Obby. I added a description and published the game to Roblox. And with that, my time is up. Let's see what my friends think of this game. Alright guys, so let's see what this game is about. Click me. Alright. And Oh, so we coded it so that it comes up. It's looking good so far. And the map looks pretty good as well. Now for the lasers. Alright, this is be simple little hobby. Yep, easily done. Oh, a spinning laser. My worst nightmare. Ugh, obviously I'm Obby Pro, so. I mean, guys, take a look at this map, by the way. I mean, it says this game was made in 24 hours. Don't know about that one. This map looks too good to be made in 24 hours. Apparently, this game was made in 24 hours. This map looks really good for 24 hours. Oh, look! I'm in that one. Yo! That's sick. Easy. Yeah, too easy for me. We've got a disco over here. Easy, easy, easy. LAG! Just like that, I've made my first ever game. Although we don't have the advanced features such as checkpoints and stuff, I think it turned out pretty well. The game link is in the description, and leave a like and subscribe if you want part 2. See ya!